there everyone happy saturday um thrilled that the weather is getting warmer here and it's finally starting to actually be consistently warm because summer is my favorite time of year and we don't get very much of one so today i have for you a and i'm probably going to pronounce this wrong it is spelled l-a-n-x-i-v-i and I'm going to say it's Lenixby or Lencibi. I'm not sure which. But this is the pen that I'm referring to. It's a Lencibi Duke Food Anib pen. Now, I have tried to figure out the mysteries of Chinese conglomerates and what is Duke and what is Lencibi because whatever Lencibi is or Lenixby is also Jin Hao and Duke at the same time. So there's this one company, apparently maybe it makes pen bodies, maybe another company makes the nibs. I'm not really clear on how this works. However, um, this typically the food A nibs are made by Duke. And um, I think that this nib is probably a Duke nib as well. Um, because it does have the Duke, it says Duke Germany on the nib. So let's go with Duke. It's a beautiful color. Um, and the finish is really nice. It's like a, a metal finish. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm such a sucker for that color. I love a deep turquoise. And the the food a nib is a really interesting experience to write and draw with and i am very much looking forward to sharing that with you i'm going to do a little demonstration drawing of um, how the nib works and i'm going to talk about how the pen came and what kind of packaging it was in and stuff like that so um, without further ado i think we'll get to that next step see you in the demo hi there i'm back I was just outside gardening, which is why my hands look a whole lot muddier than they did when I was here earlier. Um, it's really nice out there. I know a lot of the people who do fountain pen stuff are, are gardening fans, too. It's a very different type of meditative activity. So here's the food I nib. And if you look at it really up close... You can totally see how it's bent. All right. So that provides, you're not actually writing on the tip of that nib. You're writing on the flat space that sort of bends back. You'll see. This is a I'm printing with this one, not because I love printing, but because this nib is intended to simulate the way a brush pen would work to write Chinese characters. So our print is much closer to Chinese character than our script. So I'm just going to probably bold print for this, and that's why. So I'm using... Hiroshi Zuku So yo, oops, I always spell that wrong. Um I'm not used to printing. It's so funny. Other people that I see uh on many channels never write in cursive and I rarely write in print. Um, they have their nibs made in Germany by a company called Duke. At least that's what they, they said. Now Duke is a Chinese company as well, but I believe their subsidiary makes the nibs in Germany, which is kind of interesting. So they're, they're pretty high quality nib. I mean, they feel like it for sure. Um, the rest of the pen, maybe not as much. There's some things but anyway, so that's the nib. The it's it's got like a nice a nice way of uh, screwing and unscrewing. All the structures in it are metal. It's converter fed, 
oops, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, converter fed with like a piston type converter. I think these are are pretty much the standard industry standard. Um, the only thing like I don't like about the overall body is the fact that I think these end caps are plastic because I, I tap this and I get one tone. I was doing it with a longer fingernail before. And I tap this and it's totally another feeling. So that's why I think that the that the end caps are plastic. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you what this pen looks like when you draw with it. Uh, it's it's really nice to draw with. It's It's got a fun line. I'm not tracing anything here, so I'm sort of trying to figure out what I'm doing as I'm going. It's just like, it's nice. It's it's casual. It has a lot of immediacy. And I think with practice, it would be really enjoyable to draw, I want to say pretty much any casual sketch that was preparatory for watercolor you could do. But the really fun thing about it is the nice way that it delivers a combination of straight and curved lines with completely different feelings to them. So I really enjoy the idea of drawing architectural things or outdoor sketches with it because like nature, this mimics imperfection really, really well. Um, I like the balance of the pen in my hands. I am a poster of pens because if I don't post the pen, I'll just lose the cap because I'm an artist and I'm paying more attention to what I'm doing when I'm drawing. That was a point at which the feed couldn't really keep up with me. Um, that is something that Tio Ichi has also complained about with the Duke Fude nibs that they do that. So anyway, there you have it. And that's my last thing I tried to draw. Did it from a different angle. Oops. And, um, So there was one last thing I wanted to show you about this pen. It comes with a medium nib, which as you can see, I have never in fact actually taken out of the package because I don't care. Um, I really wanted this pen for drawing and for the kind of line the food a nib produces. So I'm probably never going to use this, but I could understand that if someone wanted to be able to write in both I mean, maybe it would be easier to write Chinese or something in the food a nib or more traditional. I don't know. Maybe if so, I think it, perhaps my view of this is a view that is is tainted by the fact that I'm a, an American in the sense that I was kind of like, oh, look, a useless medium nib when I really just want the pen for drawing. But um, I could see where. Someone Chinese would find both nibs very useful because the food a nib is a Chinese nib and it is fundamentally for the for the creation of Chinese characters. So one um so this is the case and it said on the Amazon site where I bought it, because I usually prefer to purchase from local uh places, but the um the Amazon site was the only place I could find the food I nib. So what I, when I got it, it came as this combined set with just the one pen, but with an extra medium nib. So, um, the other thing to know when you get it and, oh, by the way, this, this case that they advertised as leather is not the entire set, I believe is about $30. The case that they advertised was leather is not leather and it smelled bad like something horrifying you know just like if there was a nasty cancer causing like plasticky scent that was meant to smell like leather to someone who had maybe never smelled leather it might pass for leather but oh gosh i was like ugh. so 
I've been like setting this outside so that I can keep it in my pocketbook without, but I don't think I'm really going to use the case very much. I like it because it protects the pen, but I don't need the extra nib in there and ugh, it smells too bad to use. So anyway, that's my feeling about the pen. Nice pen, weird case, unnecessary medium nib, but I could see where most of the people who buy the pen would not agree with me about that. Um, and I would like to say thank you for watching. Ooh, so weird writing in print. Really, it totally is. Anyway, have a nice day, everyone.